Hey, I'm Trey Childs. I am one of the radiation oncologists here at Alliance Cancer Care. I am one of the people that treats head and neck cancer. Head and neck cancer is, well, basically anything in the head and neck. We're not including brain, but we are talking about from the nasopharynx into the nasal cavity, into the oropharynx and oral cavity, the mouth, then back down into the larynx, the airway, and the upper esophagus. Not a common cancer, but it is one that we see a lot of, mainly because uh, here at Alliance Cancer Care, we have a large referral base and a lot of the specialty cancers like this uh, come to our network. To try and screen for head and neck cancer, a little difficult. There's no good screening test. There's no blood test. There's no great screening x-ray. However, guess what? Go to your dentist. Get a regular dental checkup every six months. They can find a lot of these things early, um, especially if they're in the mouth or the oral cavity. Um, otherwise, you may just present with some aches and pains in the throat that are not normal, or maybe ear pain, something new that doesn't go away. Then you'll see your primary care doctor or an ENT through a series of steps, maybe try some antibiotics. If things don't get better, a biopsy. And that's how we tend to find them. Um, a couple of risk factors for head and neck cancer. Big one, smoking. Next big one, smokeless tobacco. Next big one, heavy alcohol use. Next big one, HPV. HPV is something that is very prevalent in today's society. A lot of kids on college campuses have it today. Uh, people with an HPV infection do not have a high chance of getting cancer, but many cancers in the oral cavity and the oral pharynx can be from HPV. As an aside, that's what the Gardasil type shots are for, to help prevent these kind of cancers and others. Treatment of head and neck cancer um, really is complex. It's a multifactorial um, uh, use of surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. Depending on the location of the tumor, depending on how big the tumor is, uh, we will use specific local therapies, either surgery or radiation or both, uh, to try and address that particular problem. And then, if we need some extra help, we will integrate either chemotherapy or immunotherapy to try and aid in the effectiveness of radiation.